Hi folks, Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars. Seems to be a lot of conversation on the internet and social media these days about Clodney patterns. What the heck are they and how can they be useful to us as luthiers? Well, just a little background here. Ernst Clodney was a German scientist that back in the 1700s discovered that if you put sand onto a metal plate and then introduced a frequency into it, and he used to do it by uh, with a violin bow on the side of it, and it would create a pattern. And therefore, he developed a formula that you could predict these certain patterns at certain frequencies. Great. How is that useful to us as luthiers? Well, you can use Clodney patterns to uh, pinpoint certain resonances or to confirm certain, certain resonances as you build. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on that, uh, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, I suggest that you get in touch with Trevor Gore, purchase his books. He's a good buddy and friend of mine over there in Sydney, Australia, wrote some books on uh, the design and build of acoustic guitars. And in those books, he discusses in great detail Clodney patterns, how to generate them, etc., and why they're important. So in a nutshell, if you can pinpoint or target certain frequencies as you build, then you can have a more tonally efficient instrument. And Trevor has discovered that the resonant frequency of the box, resonant frequency of the top, and the resonant frequency of the back are the most important frequencies. Now, how do we uh, generate those frequencies or capture those frequencies? You can use a computer and a microphone, and there's a lot of information out there of how to do that. Um, and they, Trevor calls it frequency response curves in his book. If you are not quite sure what those frequencies are that you're reading on your computer, or if you want to confirm them, or if you don't even have the microphone and the software to do it, you just want to see what the Clodney, uh, Clodney pattern is and therefore discover the resonant frequency, then you need to generate some type of frequency on that plate. And what I do is I put uh, sand, uh, oregano, uh, glitter, you know, whatever. I, I use oregano uh, on the plate and then introduce a, a frequency into it and it will form a certain pattern. And these patterns can be interpreted using Trevor's books. And therefore you can pinpoint certain frequencies. The problem is how to generate that frequency. Now in the past I used to uh, make my own uh, uh, signal generator. I would use a, an app on an iPad or a cell phone, uh, a signal generator app. There's many of them available. Some of them are free, some of them you have to buy. And then I would hook that up to uh, a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, and then a, uh, an amplifier and generate the, the frequency that way. However, it wasn't very accurate. I was never really happy with it. Recently, uh, Ron King of Peachy King Guitars sent me the system that he has developed. Now, he was an electrical engineer, or is an electrical engineer, and really knows how to dial this stuff in, and it's accurate down to 0.1 uh, hertz, guaranteed. And there's a lot of great benefits to this, and here are some. So Ron designed his to ensure that the excitation provided to the soundboard of an acoustic guitar is as precise, pure, and pristine as possible. So the generator is designed so you can increase the numeric values and hertz in the single digits. You can also adjust it in the tens, and you can also adjust it in the hundreds. Very precise, very accurate, and very quick. The generator is guaranteed to be accurate within 0.1 hertz, and that's more than enough accuracy to working with uh, guitar plates and resonances for soundboards, backs, and, and the box. The sine waves are generated by a high-precision synthesizer, resulting in very low harmonic distortion. Each unit is hand-aligned to prevent distortion on the onboard 35-watt amplifier. The speaker unit tube has been designed to match the characteristics of the speaker for optimum low frequency response. And the speaker was selected to provide the maximum forward energy at 35 watts of power. The speaker unit tube is packed with insulation and therefore prov provides more forward energy coming out of the system. And the system can be muted by pressing the digit select button. Now, Ron's an electrical engineer, so he really knows what he's talking about, and the level of accuracy in this thing is just spot on. There's a lot of DIY methods out there for making a generator. However, the DIY methods uh, do not generate the level of accuracy that uh, could make a difference when troubleshooting guitar response issues. So if you're interested in uh, Ron's uh, Clodney pattern generators, what he calls it, he's making them for sale, and I'll put a link uh, down in the video description box here of where you can... Uh, get his contact information if you're interested. So there you go, folks. Happy building.